When preparing your client for a shave, begin by seating him comfortably in the chair. Ask him to loosen his collar. Then drape him with a cloth towel and hair cutting cape. Change the headrest cover and adjust it to the proper height. Lower, adjust, recline, and lock the chair to the proper height and level. Wash and dry your hands thoroughly. Lay a clean towel diagonally across the client's chest and tuck the corners into the neckline of the chair cloth. Tuck a second towel or a paper strip into the neck band to wipe the razor clean during the shave. After positioning the client, lather and steam his facial hair in preparation for the shave. If he has a mustache, trim and shape it prior to the shave service. Lathering serves to clean the face, soften the hair. Hold the hair in an upright position and create a smooth, flat surface over which the razor can glide more effectively. Warm shaving lather is usually prepared in an electric latherizer. Transfer a quantity of lather into the hand and spread it evenly over the bearded areas of the face and neck to be shaved. Use a rotary movement to briskly rub lather into the bearded area with the cushion tips of the fingers. Start at the neck and rub lather up the side of the face. Continue lathering until the bearded areas are covered. Steaming the face helps to soften the hair cuticle, provides lubrication by stimulating the action of the oil glands, and relaxes the client. It is important to ask the client if he has a history of high blood pressure before applying a hot steam towel. Moderately warm towels can generally be used for clients with this condition. To prepare a steam towel, first fold a clean towel in half lengthwise and then fold it in half again by bringing both ends of the towel together. Place the folded towel under a stream of hot water or wrap it around the faucet or hose spray until it becomes thoroughly saturated and heated. Wring out the towel. Prepared towels can be stored in a steam towel cabinet. Standing behind the client, position the steam towel in front of his chip. Unfold the towel, holding it by the ends. Place the center of the towel over the client's mouth, under his chin, and across the lower part of his neck. Carefully wrap the towel around his face, leaving the nostrils exposed. Finally, fold the ends over each other on the forehead, covering the eyes. While the steam towel is on his face, strop the razor, if you are using a conventional razor, and immerse it in sanitizing solution. It should be noted that new blades for changeable blade razors do not guarantee a sanitized blade. Sanitize this style razor as well. Then wipe the razor dry on a clean towel and place it in a dry sanitizer or clean, closed container until ready for use. Next, remove the steam towel and wipe the lather off in one operation. Relather the beard against the grain which places the facial hair in the best position to be shaved. Then wipe the lather from your hands. Standing on the client's right side, begin the shave process. When deciding which stroke to use, there are 14 areas of the face to pay close attention to. Shaving area number one begins at the hairline on the right side. Here, employ the free hand method. Shaving area number two is the right side of the face next to the lower lip. Utilize the backhand stroke for this area. Shaving area number three is the right side of the upper lip where your client may or may not have a mustache. Use the free hand stroke when shaving area number three. Shaving area number four is the right side of the chin at the jawbone. Here, also use the free hand stroke.
Shaving area number five is the right side of the neck under section four. Use the reverse freehand stroke. This movement completes shaving of the right side of the face, and you may now move on to the left side. Shaving area number six begins at the hairline of the left side. Employ the backhand stroke here. Shaving area number seven is the left side of the face next to the lower lip. Utilize the free hand stroke. Shaving area number eight is the left side of the upper lip. Use the backhand stroke here. Shaving area number nine is the left side of the chin at the jawbone. For this area, use the backhand stroke. Shaving area number 10 is the left side of the neck under section 9. Use a reverse freehand stroke here. Shaving area number 11 is the upper part of the chin. Use the freehand stroke moving left to right. Shaving area number 12 is the area just below the chin until the change in the grain of the beard. Use the freehand stroke here. Take special precautions when shaving beneath the lower lip, lower part of the neck, and around the Adam's apple. These facial areas are usually the most tender and sensitive and easily irritated by close shaving. Shaving area number 13 is below the chin at the lower part of the neck. Use the reverse freehand stroke here. Shaving area number 14 is the chin immediately under the lower lip. Utilize the reverse freehand stroke in this area. Following the shave, apply a light facial cream or moisturizing lotion with effleurage massage movements. Prepare a moderately warm towel and apply it over the face for a minute or so. Avoid excessively hot steam towels as the skin may be sensitive after the shave service. A complete facial treatment may be performed at this time if the client desires the service. Remove the towel and apply a toner or other mild astringent using cotton pledgets or a soft tissue. Pat gently. Remove the towel from the client's chest and position yourself behind the chair. Pat dry the lower part, then the upper part of the face. Move to the right side of the chair and wrap a clean, dry towel around your hand. Sprinkle a small amount of talcum powder on the towel and apply evenly to the face. Slowly raise the chair to an upright position. Perform the neck shave if requested. Comb the hair neatly as desired. Wipe off loose hair, lather, or powder from the client's face and clothing. Proceed with the mustache trim if not performed before the shave service.